Hey guys, it's Drew with Kucha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about an order that we just got in for $5,500. And we're going to talk about why are coins overpriced at coin shows. So we were at the Conroe show about a month ago. And we were going around to every table. And it seemed like every great coin was either gone or was massively overpriced. And so when I talk to collectors online, talk to collectors at the show, they're like, there's nothing here and I don't want to pay this exuberant amount of money for this coin. And that got me thinking and asking around other dealers, why do you price your coin so high? And there's you know one obvious answer for me, but may not be for you. And so that's why I'm going to talk about it in this video. But let's show you guys these coins first. I think you're going to enjoy them. So here are the four coins that we want to talk about in today's video. Paid around $5,500 for these. And the reason being is because they're pretty nice coins overall. Um, when you're taking a look at the $17.99 Drape Bus Dollar, it may be on the edge of details, but I mean, just getting something this nice in, I think it's around fine, maybe a little bit less, but really good detail, actually a pretty affordable price. I think we, you know, we're probably going to be making a hundred bucks on this coin, but there is a little bit of a rim ding there. So maybe that's the reason why they didn't want to submit this coin, but offering a nice piece of raw like this really does catch some collectors attention maybe they're not looking for a 99 maybe they're looking for a 98 or maybe they're into the 1800s uh, here's a 19 1893 s morgan dollar pretty original looking there is a rim bump on the right side there as you can see but a lot of these are going to have some type of issue that do get passed through i just like the look of this coin i hope you guys like it as well here's a little bit of a cheaper coin 1834 large date small letters cap bust half Bought it once again because it's original. If you're going to buy a, a cheaper coin, I kind of buy it because people will like the look of it, to like pulling it out of their safe, to analyze, and uh, really just maybe sit down, drink a cup of coffee, and look at their coin collection. And I like looking at coins like this because not really anything happened to that coin. Uh, here's an 1843 seated dollar. Pretty low mintage. I'll put it right underneath this coin. This one's a little bit cleany, which means that it has been clean in the past. And we talked about seated half dollar, I'm sorry, seated dollars in the previous video, about most of them being not very original, um, but they did get passed through at the graders. This coin, in my opinion, wouldn't cack, but it is offered at an affordable price in case you need a whole filler for your collection. A little bit on the higher side in terms of premium, but like I said, a little bit of a lower mintage. So I just showed you four really nice coins, that 93S, that original cap bust half, that $17.99. Uh, all those coins were really nice. And ultimately what I could do with those coins is that I can walk those coins to a dealer and I could sell them instantly. Um, I can get the most for them. I can even get over retail sometimes for those coins. And what people fail to realize um, is that there are dealers at shows that can buy every great coin in the show. They have the money to buy every great coin for the right price. And so, when you're going into a show, you have to realize there's two different dealers. There's dealers that want you to have you as a client that are going to have to make you pay a little bit more. And there are, there are dealers that sell just directly to other dealers. And that may sound like it's common sense, but it's, it's not. Um, what I would have to say is, you know, when people come to a coin show on Saturday at two o'clock and they expect to find a great deal, a coin back a sheet, it's a key day. They've been waiting for it, you know, for six months. That those deals just don't happen like they used to happen at coin shows. A lot of these dealers have been doing and have been in the game for 50 years, and so they may have several million dollars that they can write on a check for certain coins. And so, the it kind of almost puts it back on the collector's perspective, which means that you guys, if you don't show up early, if you don't get there, if you don't call people every single week. If you're not on top of it like these other dealers are, even though that you are a collector, you will not see these coins. The only way you'll be able to see them is with an auction. Uh, we talked about this a few months ago. There's people that invest a certain amount of time to save money or they, they invest more money to save time. And so collectors sometimes are on the opposite spectrum of the dealer. And so, like I said though, the Conroe show is very lackluster in my opinion. I couldn't buy many things. Um, I couldn't sell many things and most of the business I had was from dealer to dealer because they would pay more than the public. And so what's the passive way of telling a different coin dealer that you don't want to sell a coin to them? 
Um, the best way to do that is to up the price, right? So say there's a 1893S Morgan dollar um, in XF40 and they sell anywhere between 10,500 to 11,500. Well, you see someone at the show and they have a 93S for $12,000. And so you're saying, man, that's overpriced. Like some have sold cheaper than that. But the thing about it is that that dealer may already have an offer of 11,000 or 11,500 from another dealer. And someone might ask, why don't you take that offer, Drew? Why don't you take that offer a different dealer? Because like I said, people want to have clients. Clients are what makes a business move. If I sold every great coin to a different dealer every time I got it, I would be a satellite location for that dealer. I wouldn't be working for myself. I'd be working for somebody else and they don't even cover all my overhead expenses. And so providing great coins, sometimes when they might be a little bit more than what you want to spend is because I want to have you as a client, but I don't want a dealer to come in and buy everything that we have that is worth anything. And so I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope this gives you a little bit of behind the scenes. If you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, make sure to leave those down below. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. I want to talk a little bit more about behind the scenes as this year to go forward because I want you guys to get great coins for great prices. I'm just going to tell you how we do it. But we'll see you guys in the next video.